What's up, guys? I just hit my elbow on my cup. Ah, golly, that hurt. Yeti cups ain't no joke. All right, so today we're doing something pretty cool. So I will be doing a car review and also a little bit of a, a learning lesson. We will be test driving a Subaru WRX. Now, this is a co-worker of mine, a good friend of mine. He has a uh, 2015 WRX, and we will be testing that out to see, realistically, I want an everyday car. Um, I love my Challenger to death, but I want to preserve my car. So eventually down the road, I would like to get another car as an everyday car, and I'm going to see if I can like try different cars, and I want to start doing some car reviews. So I've mentioned that before, so in the next coming weeks, we'll be doing some more cars. I'll be getting with people that are local and who don't mind me driving their car and seeing what that car is like. So today we'll be doing that. So let's get it going. Try not to laugh because I am not an expert when it comes to driving stick. I, I learned probably years ago. My brother taught me a little bit, but obviously if you don't practice, you don't learn. So I didn't really practice much because I've been in automatic cars forever. So this time around, probably going to learn a little bit. I'm a little worried because I do not want to mess up my buddy's clutch or anything like that. So I'm going to let him do a little bit of the, uh, the driving and I'm going to do a little bit of the driving myself, hopefully. And we'll see how that goes. So let's get it popping. All right, guys. So somebody heard. we're going to be test driving this beautiful car today. Oh, yeah. 2015 WRX. How much does this guy? How much guy go for brand new? Uh, about thirty. About thirty thousand. So and you spent around twenty, you said. Yep. So you, so you guys can get yourself a good deal. Let's get this going. Don't laugh at me. All right, guys. <laughs> I did watch a, rev a review, but as far as uh, some fun facts, and apparently they got the best vision. Super do. That was great. Yeah, I didn't know that. And then another thing I noticed, I don't know how they came up with this, but apparently the uh, it's the safest car for for pets. Hmm. I don't know how they tested that, and I don't know why they came up with that, but. Yeah, they're really big on uh, dog advertisements. Yeah. yeah. Going out. Cross track in the forest or anything. Alright. So, all right. you got my foot on brake. Gas, yes. clutch. Let's stay around this area first. Sure. No children today, so. <laughs> Alright, so let me go. Find a little gas. Yep. Now, what point do you shift to? second gear uh, when you're about 3,000 rpm so a while back <laughs> <laughs> okay we don't want that that's or 2,500 not. rpms so, so. You... all right so and at that point you would switch into come back down yep I'm going first yep now we're gonna let off oh hold again it's hold again all right all right there you go all right watch out boys. And now you shift to second so the engine doesn't have any resistance and the RPMs just shoot right up. Dude, now I now I can't knock you for, for missing third shift. It's <laughs> nerve-wracking. Yeah, just imagine being in the drag strip for the first time. If you guys don't know, as you guys saw on the YouTube if my, one of my previous videos, when I went to the drag strip with some friends and we went and I took the scat back, this is my buddy Vernon, who you guys saw on the video. He got a better run the second time, but we didn't get it on video. And um, we, conspiracy. it was a conspiracy, yeah. So he missed third shift. So the one, the course that I show made him look bad, but um, he got a much better time there on the second one. But this is obviously, this is the car that he was using and now I know why he missed third. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Our break on, we're good. Oh, all right, <laughs> Burns turn. We're gonna take this for a little spin. What I love about this car, guys, is the body. There's something else. It really doesn't need anything extra. 
to me personally, whenever I see one with the spoiler on the road, I kind of think of it as extra because of the fact that I see yours all the time and it's like it looks perfect the way it is with the body. The body lines, the hood scoop. I mean, now, is this a functioning hood scoop and everything? Oh, yeah. That's Sweet! The, uh, Can you check, pop the hood? Alright. Let me check out what's under this engine. Pressure's on, I can't do it. I know, right? That's, what it is. <laughs> That's it. Gotta go to commercial break. There we go. Alright, we'll just edit that out. Go ahead and fast forward it. Let's do this. Make sure the heart's ready to go. <laughs> oh. Should have tied everything down. The brakes work. <laughs> These GoPros are awesome. horsepower does this guy have? I believe it's like 290, 280? Uh, about 260. 260? Okay. 250, 260. Now, this is the base model? I'm yep. correct. Okay. Oh, premium, but... Oh, the premium, okay. So, yeah, I was looking at a base, premium, premium something else, and then there was the... Then you get into the STIs. Yep. So I think there's one other tier, maybe like a limited, but this has the heated seats. Right. Um, doesn't have the navigation, but eh, whatever. Yeah, uh, navigation. I'm sorry, but I can't focus on anything other than the gears. <laughs> when I'm driving that thing, all I was focusing on was the gears. is just so gripped it's like you don't oh, move yeah. from the road or anything like that talk about tight corners oh gosh <laughs> yeah we took that one pretty quick i tell Vern all the time guys that uh this is my when we go to lunch that this car makes my pump shift over i feel it shifting in my body whenever i'm we're taking tight turns oh. So you'll see what the turbo is pushing uh, additional pressure okay. to the engine. So it treats as your compression, get more power out of the gas basically. Okay. Um, so right now my peak is at 20.7. Uh, you can over boost this to about 
20, 122 PSI. But it usually stables out, uh, stabilizes out about 18, 19. Now, where do you adjust that? Do you adjust that, that PSI? Uh, you can adjust the tune, um, but really just being able to stay in the boost is keeping your RPMs up. So, you know, instead of shifting, you know, at like 2,000 RPMs, you push it out more to three, four, so that your next gear, you're still 3,000 or above. So you keep that turbo spooled up and you keep pushing all that boost. really make good use of the old shit handle. <laughs> There's a good reason why it's in here. Yeah, they're made for six shift cars, that's why. All right, guys, so wrapping it up. So as you guys saw, I got to take the Subaru for a test drive. You guys got a little bit of laughs, probably. Me driving a stick. I don't think I did that bad for the first time. If you kind of think I did, let me know. Now, as far as the Subaru goes, what do I think of it? I think it's an amazing car. That thing is most, I think honestly, it's like a pocket knife. To me, I, when I see it like a pocket knife, it's got all these, you know, different purpose. Uh, is it a pocket knife or is it one of those, uh, uh, man, it's like those the knives that got all the tools in it. I just love it. It's a uh, switch, I forgot what the heck it's called. But either way, that car is awesome. Uh, totally worth uh, the, the money. Now, it's also another thing I looked up on those cars is they hold their value very well on the Subarus. Um, they're very durable, they're very reliable. So, I, like I said, Vern spent, he said, around 20 grand for his car. Not a bad price, especially for what you're getting out of that car. As you guys saw in the performance, it's very quick. Quicker on the corners. I mean, I'm driving the Scat Pack, and I love my Scat Pack, but that Scat Pack is so, my Scat Pack is very heavy and tight around and heavier on the corners, so you feel like you're in a boat. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my Scat Pack, but when you're in that car like that, where it's tight, and quick and you feel so secure it's like when i'm, I'm i think I, I ride with him almost like every other day to lunch in that car i absolutely love that car and the cool thing about that car is is the looks it's just a very subtle car and if you're a car person you know what you're looking at you can appreciate it if you're not a car person you're probably gonna look at like it's an, another car with some nice lines but when you look at that car and you're a car guy or a car person you understand that's a really that's a really good piece of engineering right there in that car. Great, great performance, great grip, all-wheel drive. I love it. Now, like I said, it got a bad rap on my first video because of the fact that he missed third gear. Shoot, I was just trying to get out of first gear, and I went into fourth gear. I, I was trying to go from first to second, and I went to fourth gear. I don't know how I did it. I did it terribly, so I couldn't imagine being under the pressure of a drag strip and you know all the lights going on and trying to focus and get everything right with the light you know the tree light and everything that was very uh nerve-wracking but all in all guys that car is great if you're looking for one i would totally recommend it this is the 2015 i believe it had like 50 to 60 thousand miles on it when he purchased it he bought it a little bit before i bought my scat pack and that car is absolutely awesome love that thing it's the pump shifter so when every time we go around the corners i feel my pump shifting right over so totally a recommended car if you guys have any questions on that please let me know if you guys feel like i can improve anywhere on my videos let me know guys i, I like to listen to you guys and take advice thank you guys so much you guys have a good one and you, you, you'll be seeing a lot more cars um to come i'll be working with a lot of pe local people if you guys have you're local in the ocala area or you're in Orlando, Tampa, wherever, I would love to do a car review if you wouldn't mind meeting me up and we can work something out and just do some reviews. I am all for it. I just want to see different cars. And you know, um, car dealerships are great to work with and I will be working with, with some. But at the same time, when you're with somebody who owns the car, they're not afraid to do something with it. That if I go to a dealership, they're gonna be like, well, I can't do that. This car's owned by the, uh, you know, it's not sold yet. Or this car's not this yet. When somebody owns the car, it's a little more fun to drive with because of the fact that they know the car in and out, they drive it every day. And at the same time, they're not afraid to show me a little something, something on the side, you know, a little extra uh, donuts or tight corners and tight speeds. You know, car dealership's not gonna do that all the time for me. So guys, I would really appreciate it if you guys like to meet up and show me a thing or two about your cars. I really appreciate it, guys. You guys have a great weekend. Be safe, drive safe, see ya.